My fish fam! Today we're gonna be playing with Is It Merfolk. If he, everyone loves Flame of Venor because it's already gotten some results in Merfolk, both the Spiring Spike and the Spirit Squad has made Merfolk the axe with the Flame of Venor, and we are gonna try that out today. The only classic Aether Vial and Flame of Venor. Oh, sorry, that's not classic. Classic Aether Vial with the Merfolk deck. Now, I have to say, I've always liked Lightning Bolts in Merfolk because Merfolk doesn't have that reach that you really want. And also, if I'm going to kill something like Raghavan or Bowmasters or a Mana Dork or something, uh, I would love that it also has the reach to hit my opponent's face at the same time. So that's what we got Lightning Bolt for. Now, the cost to Lightning Bolt is you need, if you want to play it on turn one, which I do want for Raghavan. Uh, I need 14 red sources in my deck. So we got four steam vents, four spire bluff canal, and we've got six fetch lands. And that is good enough to consistently have a red source turn one to kill them Raghavans, which I hate. I hate Raghavan. Now we do need enough wizards for Flame of Anor, so I do have two Mutavolts in this deck. Although I, ha I, I don't know how much we can squeeze the mana base here. It's close. Like my the mana base, not exciting. It's pretty pretty dead. In fact, I could pr maybe use two fiery islets somewhere so I can get some value off of my lands. But that's the cost that we play by playing a second color. Because I don't... The thing is... Okay, so with a file deck, I don't mind playing with Fiery Islet because I'm not forced to tap my lands to cash my cards. We have Vile for that. But if you play too many of those Fiery Islets, then it deals a lot of damage to you. A lot of damage. Um, Yeah, so the whole, the whole point of this is Flame of Anor... You draw two cards, you can deal five damage, you can also blow up an artifact. You get two of those options if you have a wizard. This is a wizard, you're a wizard, you're a wizard, and you're a wizard. Excellent! So let's and, get and Harbinger. Yeah, and the Harbinger. And Miscaller. And the Miscaller. Yeah, we got wizards wizards everywhere. Alright, let's get into a league. Oops, nope. No, 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 no. We're dropping from that one. <laughs> Anyone watching this league out of context? You saw nothing. Okay, hold on. Uh, I need... Is it Murph? Or is it Murph? Oh, that's right. Is it? It will be. Everyone's complaining that Magic the Gathering Online is so slow and laggy and stuff, and it's snappy fast for me. Like, it's faster than it's ever been in my life. Although, I have an insanely good computer. That's all you have to do to get Magic the Gathering Online to work for you. You just have the fastest computer on the face of the Earth. You're a wizard, Ari. <laughs> You're a wizard, Ari. You're an Ari wizard. I only watched the first movie. Monster CC says uh, M Hayashi won't play it because it's not monocolor. I don't blame him. I love the purity of blue. All blue, all day. You interviewed M Hayashi. I did, but the I like I do think that. I don't, know, not, I don't want to say think. I feel like that deck could benefit a lot from uh, red. To have a more of a blue moon-esque angle. Although it's it's so much better when you're playing with like Click and... Uh, what's it called? The other card. Click and Brazen Borrower. Because it's just like nice free flash damage and good big healthy three chunks. Which are now unplayable. Thanks to thanks to Bowmasters. And ran at six. And Plague Engineer. Lava Dart and Fire and Ice and Fury. Too many cards. Wizards, what are you gonna. And it's not even clear Wizards are gonna ban those cards. You know? Okay, I won the die roll. Sweet. This is a hand of cards I will keep. Very likely, given the context of our hand, we're gonna force and negate Pitch Flame of Anor just because it looks too hard to get to our third land. Which is fine, whatever. Uh, just in case, I guess we get the f steam vents. No, it's not clear I'm gonna even have that mana by this time. I'm just gonna get an island, save myself damage. There's too many decks. Hammer time, crashing footfalls, burn, uh, death shadow, murk tide. Like against a random deck in modern. Oh, it looks like we're up against affinity. Against a random deck in modern, taking extra damage is bad. It's like so bad. So we might be slow out of the gates. It helps so much to draw land here. But if we don't, hopefully we'll, we'll, everything will be okay. That's what I tell myself. This is not an island, unfortunately. Punished for not getting the steam vents. Hard punished. Mm. 
Yeah. <laughs> Ornithopter. My favorite, but not the right art. Because also, like, I was planning on pitching this thing. Oh, Cranial Planet, we have a target. Oh, no, wait, that is the right art, yes. Do you like this one? That's the best Ornithopter of all time. Says you. And it's just the best card. It's a free 2-2 in the air. I'll admit, it's one of the most broken cards that have evaded banning. It's just a weird card to ban. Almost as weird as Spreading Seas in Historic. Yeah, it's weird. I will... Um... Hmm. Yeah, I think it's worth... It's too much worth it to... So I, I, because I have so many two drops in my hand, plus I have this lightning bolt, it's too much worth it to... Uh, it's not worth it to hold back the Silver Gill Adapt. I think that there's a payoff to try to put it in play and try to draw a land. And we did draw the land, and it was a, it was a red source. But you know what? We're going to continue with the blue. Yeah, and then next turn, I'll probably tick up the Vile to three. And then depending on the board state, I'll... Uh, Light, use my lightning bolt or play a master of the pearl trident. But I, I more or less just want to get all this stuff on the battlefield. They banned season historic. Yeah, they banned his season historic. They pre-banned it. They insta banned the card. They revealed it and it was gone. And it's gone. Nettle cyst. You I played with that once. It's gonna be a big analysis. I do not have island walk. On the other hand, I do have a spelloon. So I'm, uh, I am so far leaning a little bit more to playing the Mass of the Pearl Trident so that I at least have enough creatures to make my Svelun indestructible regardless of my opponent's options. Two lightning bolts. You really have no islands. I wish this thing had had an island type. It's got a lot of blue in it. Although on the other hand, it probably is broken. It should count for something. If it had an island. Yeah, uh, see the cyanide. There you go. Well, the thing is, like, if this had the island type, they could fetch an indestructible land and in people could fetch an indestructible land and in play at end of turn. Okay, well, this is where things usually go to hell. It's basically ancestral recall. One blue. It's basically one blue draw two, but you already have a 2-2 bot flying body onto the battlefield. That is so fair. Seems weird with Nykthos and stuff running around. Um, I, well, I, I have no idea what their reasoning is, or if they have any reasoning. Do I attack with 11-11? Surprise! Allow me to introduce you to the loon, Svelun. I almost had a cyst that kind of looked like that. A what? I almost had a cyst that kind of looked like that. That's disgusting. No, the other one. The salamander? No, no, the nettle cyst. Oh, this thing? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Gotta get that checked by a doctor. <laughs> he said he'd keep an eye on it. Just yeah. On. <laughs> well, let's keep an eye on it. Everyone get that from the doctor? Just keep a lookout. Uh-oh, that's 11 damage. And my bolts were offline. Okay, we are attacking for a lot, though. Always no, always yield. Lord! Okay, can we race this crap? Attack with everything. I'm gonna lose a lord. Or maybe I should just attack with Spaloon. Tough spot. I attack with everything that could block with the Salamander. I bolt the Salamander. Maybe I get hit once hard by this Ornithopter, and then maybe I have a counterattack. Maybe you'll draw a Trickster off of, uh... Maybe I'll draw a Tide Shaper. This is great! I need artifact. another land. Yeah, Artifact. Hit Artifact. I sort of want to bolt something here. That's not going to work out right now. I'm gonna bolt like something just to keep the artifact count low. Although they can make sacrifice a tre uh, pay XX tap sacrifice treasure vault create X treasure tokens. Oh God! Oh God! That's a lot of treasure tokens. So, what is this? One two. Okay, one two three. No blocksies. Gotta get, we gotta get rid of that and assist. Oh, 
Oh, thank God. Oh, but it's gonna stay on the ornithopter. Anyway, we are gonna bolt. Of course, we'll pay more mana. Does it unequip? I have a feeling it doesn't. No, it just fails. Super punish for no steam vents turn one. You know what, even against this deck, I think I'm fine with not taking damage even in a vacuum. The, the thing, I'm just super punished for drawing the lightning land, bolt. Land, 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 land. Yes! Okay, we draw, we draw the land. Now what? Uh, okay, we draw the land, so we do nothing, really, right? I can attack with everything. They didn't move the nettle cyst, that's a bit weird. So I can get hit for six next turn. I want to say I should be careful here. Just Flame of Anor. I can actually I can destroy a land and kill a creature. I shouldn't even draw cards. Yeah. Okay. So maybe we can just go all in. Or maybe I should just do it now. Blow this thing up. Deal five damage here. Send it. Yep. Okay. Destroy an artifact. Deal five damage to a creature. Uh, we'll des destroy this artifact. I'll deal five damage to this fool. Pay the mana. Pay the manas. Pay that manas his money. Never saw that one coming, did you, pal? Maybe they did. They saw the red here. Uh. Oh yeah, well, bolting the thopter that might have worked out. Okay. Not so close. In the end, doesn't even matter. Die. Now let's hope they don't top deck another analysis or cranial plating. Cards I was not playing around. But by not playing around them, I am attacking for more damage. A lot more damage. Like, I don't even want to send in my Silver Gill Adapt and get blocked by a Salamander, because then I don't get two modes. Boom. Yeah, having our own Coligan's Col Col Command is great. Fish Jund. Okay, we do want Harbinger in this matchup. Coligan's Command, that's I believe what I we do want Spreading Seas for Urza Saga. Coligan's Command is the card I was thinking of earlier. Oh, bolt. yeah. Bolt should be fine. Uh, Tide Shaper is good. Nice Trickster is okay. Force Negation is also okay, but not mandatory. Actually, maybe uh, Hex Catcher is awkward. Hmm. Island Walk is still sort of necessary. I gotta take out cars. The thing is, like, force negation is nice in this matchup. You hit cranial plating, you hit, uh, you hit stuff. Maybe I don't want Harb. Maybe I can live without some tricksters. Harbinger is a little bit better. Seems like uh, we're upgrading some cards from the main deck. Flame of is amazing. I definitely should have Master of the Pearl Trident for some Island Walk, and also Beef. Oh, Silver Gill Adapt sucks. Okay, how many lo We have four, five, four, five, eight. Uh, uh, eight, twelve, thirteen. I should probably have one more wizard in here. No, nah, thirteen is fine. By the time I get Flame of Anor online, they don't even have that much removal. There's not many matchups where we even want to destroy artifacts, but this would be one of them. I hope I'm not overboarding. Like, maybe Force Negation is not necessary because I already have, like, everything else. This hand can't cast anything. Even if it was a mono blue deck. Uh, Mulligan. Big! This hand is fine. We'll keep. We'll dump. Misty, I guess. Cancel, maybe not. Maybe get rid of Ether Vial. Yeah. No. Um, yeah, it's a top spot. Get rid of Ether Vault. No! It's a threat! That could get in the red zone. So Hex Catcher can exchange itself with uh, what's it called? Nettle Cyst. So they start off real slow, but then they. Speed up real fast. Right, come on, spreading seas. Sometimes it can just die to this thing. Oh, 
hopefully we can outface an Urza Saga. Not an easy thing to do. Flame of Anor. I just need another random land. Uh, pass. Nettle Sis. Nettle Sis. Tap out. Be greedy. Greedy, 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 greedy. Greedy, 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 greedy. No, oh, damn. Not greedy enough. Colis. Is this not? No, it's an enchantment land. You are not enchantment destroyer. What the hell is this? Oh, we're making a saga in advance. That's fine. We're making a construct in advance. He's a big boy. We got our land. All right, so we can start drawing some cards. So what are they gonna get? They can get. I don't even know what they can get. Another ornithopter. Do I want to wait to see what they get? So also, I could... Well, I mean, I can a Flame of Anor now, draw two cards, blow this guy up. Attack for two, and if they block, we trick him. Um, probably Shadow Spear? Shadow Spear is such a beating. That's really hard to beat. But I can't beat random constructs either. Okay, let's just draw two cards. Okay, we're gonna destroy an artifact. We're gonna draw two cards. Um, yeah, these two lands are indestructible. Well, there, there is another option. I could, no, I think I should draw cards. I don't have enough threats in my hand because I could blow this up, deal five damage. Puts their artifact count really low and then they have like, well, whatever, they'll, con they'll make a construct next turn and play a land. Or sorry, get a, a Shadow Spear so that they will uh, pretty comfortably get back to a good artifact count. Okay, so I'll draw two cards. Let's blow this thing up. And we will pay the manas. This is, these are fine if I have things to counter with. Ah, uh, you didn't fall for it. Too smart. <laughs> Two damage. Is Rebuke a staple of these decks? Okay, fortunately, we can get another Svelun in play. Oh no, it won't matter. Doesn't like Shadow Spear sort of play around Svelun? I can't remember how Shadow Spear is worded. Shadow Spear is a very, very, very annoying piece of nonsense. Springleaf Drum. Okay. No. There's not many things I can counter, but I will counter that. Sorry. What's in their hand? Bubkit. Just a clunk? Clunkaroonie. Another Urza Saga. I hate this card. Pithy Needle. Hmm. Um, sure. I'm not thrilled to see that, but whatever. Want my Aether Vile? Go for it. it. Might go. They might go for my Hexcatcher. They chose Aether Vile though. Sealed. Always no. Big. I mean, I don't really care. I'm gonna play Svelun this turn, but I, I would like a blue. Trickster. I would like a random blue card for my Force Negation. It would help me sleep at night. Trickster, trickster, trickster. I sided them out actually. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is fine. Although I'm not really thrilled to see the six-six construct in my way. Uh, he'll just bounce off Trickster. It's, uh, yeah. Trickster is specifically better versus construct the construct, but Harbinger is specifically better versus everything else.
why would you get spring? Like, I have no idea what was in their hand, but like, spring leaf drum just doesn't seem like the play. Get the winner. The salamander has arrived. Shiny. Very shiny. Okay, now I. Just a lot of, a lot of lead in the ocean, I guess. Spreading seas or something. Spreading seas or tide shaper is good. Lightning bolt, not, not so good. <laughs> not good at all. Um, I think I gotta start attacking with the Svelun just so that I can get some. Like I'm gonna get attacked with a billion constructs next turn. Hmm. I could also attack with Svelun if it fails. I play another Svelun. All right, let's draw some cards. Lord. Can't flash him in, but at least we get him. Got another mana source. It is useless to me. Game two probably gonna go to the robots. They don't seem to have a car in there. Uh, keep, point to something you keep. I'll keep that one. Thank you very much. Yep. Make them constructs. They'd be big. Holy. This is crazy. This was like called to be the card to be banned in a year, and it's been two years, and it's still there. <laughs> That card is just so insanely good. Okay, there's the Shadow Spear. Which probably should have been the card they got the first time around. Maybe they misclicked. It's like, oh, okay, I got a Spring Leaf Drum. So what is this? It's, uh... Yeah, and what I hate is that it's got this thing, permits your opponent's control lose hexproof and indestructible. So, like, I could try to block with Svelum, but it's, like, sort of pointless. Okay, I will... I guess I'll chump block this and then block this with my Svelun. So that even if they activate the ability, it doesn't matter. And my 4 6. Four, sorry, 4 5 Svelun will live. Alright, Flame of Anor, baby! We could use another one. Okay, how much stuff do I have to destroy artifacts? Maybe I don't need... Because if I have Flame of Anor, do I need Force of Negation is the question. Because this can blow up a lot of artifacts on the board too. I'm just going to go down a few forces. Force of Negation is fine in these matchups. Hits Nettle Cyst, hits Cranial Plating, hits... I mean, honestly, I'm not thrilled about countering a Thought Cast. I just had nothing else to do with my force negation at the time, and it, that was like apparently the only thing I could actually hit. But you do have Flame of Anor to hit those things. Um, is Lightning Bolt worth it? Lightning Bolt is really awkward in this deck. I guess it's sort of a tempo card. Um, yeah, that'd be it. Submit. Run it back. So force negation a little bit worse on the play. This hand not exciting. But I don't really want to throw it away either. I'll I'm keep it, it and just bolt everything that hits the board for the first few turns. Now that's thinking with your noodle. Then we'll try to get a trickster in play. Seeing Sky can hit the battlefield and attack at least once, that'd be nice. I didn't consider this, but if I played the Mutavolt first, I had the option to um, attack with it this turn, and I think I would want to as well, because I was going to take, and I might, and I could also save some damage. Urza Saga, that stupid Urza Saga again. Saving that damage. 
so I'm gonna have to save my trickster. For the perfect time. I'm not gonna waste this trickster so easily. 20. I don't think they can rebuke my uh, Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. They'll say ooh, ooh well. at the same time. Hopefully no mystical dispute here. Okay, good. It's a huge win. More lightning bolts. Just throw them in his face. No. <laughs> Is this the first match? I think it's the first match. Yeah. Cranial plating. Okay, can do squat about that. Frog might. It's fine. Lightning bolt. Yeah, they're they're at eleven. I mean, I'm gonna shoot the frog might. I'm gonna keep their artifact count as low as possible. No, you may not get that. I wonder how often frogs get struck by lightning in real life. I'm streaming. Yeah, I know. Well, I've been streaming for like years, but I was doing it on YouTube. We've come back. We're back to Twitch. Gotta soak up those primes. Don't like Twitch, but whatever. Okay, I'm sort of throwing away my trickster here because I just want to deal damage and get a clock on. Our opponent seems to be sort of mm, daydreaming. They're they're in pain. Ooh, another tide shaper. I'm just gonna hold on to it. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna hold on to it. I'm just gonna wait for another saga or something. Attack for four and then get Spaloon in play. Maybe bolt something at end of turn. But it looks like we're firmly ahead here. Even if they put a Salamander on the battlefield, we'll like Neem bolt it twice. Uh, sure. Now we're definitely gonna need to lightning bolt it twice. Double blazing. Spaloon. Where's the Spaloon here now? Oops, hold on, I have to change the, uh... Title. Title. Or if not, we're playing Merfolk now. Like, <laughs> real Merfolk. I will not use Vile's ability. I guess I'll do that in the... Break-ish. Can you flash anything at instant speed? Probably not. In response, I guess they could try to kill Svaloon right now, and then we'll just activate Mutabolt again. This is gonna fail miserably. Oh, you have Dismember! It appears you have Dismember. You're gonna Dismember my Svaloon, which is gonna suck! No! <laughs> ah, damn it. Goodbye. Attack for four, which is not terrible. Uh, do I put. Okay, so. <laughs> I need to get in. Two more damage, and then the bolts will finish them off. Take away their, I don't know, black mana, I guess. Stardew Valley, huh? I'll have to look into that. Uh, what do I have? Another cranial plating. Just one random creature would kill us so hard. Stardew Valley, I think I got, I think I got that on my phone. I have no idea. I'm asking, uh... Very popular Harvest Moon clone. Oh yeah, I know. Isn't that, isn't Stardew Valley also like Animal Crossing, sort of? Okay. Upkeep! Let's do this properly, even though you have one card in your hand. Hoo-ya! Lightning bolts. And we win the match. Beautiful. We will... Our first win of the match of today. Cha-ching. Yeah, I know. Next page. 
Okay, now let's, uh, how do we edit? It's, uh, top left, I think. Yeah, top left. Is it, or is it Murpho? Mirvo. Good. Now you can all look at me. <laughs> this is the this is what a winner looks like. I'm a winner! We're gonna do some winning around here with Is it Murpho? We even won with Lightning Bolt in the end. What's, what's gonna be the prize at the uh, fusion? Probably a lot, like tickets. Yeah, that's how they do it these days. Prize you wall. Get, yeah, prize wall. It's all about the prize wall. Chuck E. Cheese prize wall. Yeah. You they have a kazoo. They slowly have turned, like, you know, that's how Magic the Gathering always was. It's it's basically, yeah, it's like a big Chuck E. Cheese or... What is that other place? Topo D Dijos? Topo, Topo Gijos. Is that a that local was, thing? Yeah, or that, that, was, that... that was Winnipeg. Okay, nobody knows what Topo Gijos is then. It beat out Chuck E. Cheese, though. Where's, the che where's Chuck E. Cheese now? Uh... A guy I knew from elementary school, he just posted a picture of him and his kids at Chuck E. Cheese. Weird. So, and I think that's here in Winnipeg. We won the die roll, we're gonna keep. Or maybe it's in the paw, I don't know. Dave and Busters, is that also another Chuck E. Cheese clone? It seems like such a weird business model. Like, how is that sustainable? Basically get people to spend hundreds of dollars so they can win, I guess, so that they can earn some $5 plastic crap behind a wall. Are, what? Oh no, this is hammer time this time. What do you think loot crates are? Yeah. <laughs> Those are doing great. Okay, we're up against hammer time. Which, I think we're gonna be fine. Ooh, okay, that. Uh, I don't feel good about that one. Switch your life. Uh, well, I don't have a whole lot of targets for this force negation, so we might as well get this. Do I keep the Lord around? Do I want to draw a card? Trickster is fine. These are all like sort of meh cards, but if I'm low on cards, I want the Silver Gill Adapt. Trickster might not be that good if... Yeah, I don't think Trickster by itself is going to be good with low, low on cards too, so I'm going to keep the Lord around. We have not yet been to a Dave and Busters. No. Another Ornithopter. Okay, that's a... I like that draw. Call it Topo di Giorno. <laughs> <laughs> Topo di Giorno. Well, it's not. It's not Topo di Giorno. Oh, we got Svelun. Svelun is not really that good in this matchup, but like your Stoneforge Mystic. Sve Svelun is like fine. Hold your complete. Let's see, they're doing it the old-fashioned way. Uh, get completed. Yeah, get completed. One, two, three. So they don't really want to block with anything. Wait. I want to trade with your Stoneforge Mystic? I'm fine. It's all good with me, buddy. Is this the same deck? No, it's uh, Hammer Time. Literally a different deck. Still artifacts, though. Yeah. Still got them Urza Sagas. Okay. It's time for the race. Give her runes. That is a pain! I don't like that card. That is a little pain in the ass. That's lightning bolt food, if you ask me. No, oh, they're slowing down with the college complete. They're like, we can take our time here. All right, you want to take your time? I'm going to take my time, too. Everyone can take their time. Yeah. The idea is for the uh, college complete, come eat my Svelun. Very patient hammer time player. That's fine. I can admire the patience. Let's put Raghavan in it and call it Monkey Folk. So many people did that in the past. It's like... And they got five zeros with it, too. And no one could really replicate it. Or not any, any anything consistently. Another Stoneforge Mystic. Like, what are you going to do with the second one? Get a hammer? I mean, they're getting... I mean, they got five mana up. Oh, Shadow Spear. Shoot. They're casting this? They have two mana up. I could sacrifice everything, though. Doesn't, but I will not. Doesn't Springleaf drum alone the top? Yes. I would have to sack... I would play Hexcatcher, sack my entire board to answer this stupid thing. I think I'd rather just let it happen. Well, this is... We need Flame of Anor to kill this, destroy this, and then... Uh, nothing else, I guess. College Complete. Protection from Flame of Anor. 
But now we can start drawing two cards a turn, thanks to uh, Svelun. And aside from that, I mean, this is basically the only thing dealing damage to us. So... We're like, okay. Well, I, wanna, I don't want to say okay, but like, it could be worse. It could be a whole lot worse. I have a few, I do have a few turns to like, get get something going. If I don't, then I'm dead. So we can attack with, uh, I think we can attack with everything. If we draw an Island Walker, oh, it'd be good to draw the Island Walker like right now. Okay, whatever, so we are, okay, hold on, I'll play the Muta Vault so I can cast my Hex Catcher. Uh, that's a good one. That's not bad. Okay. That is not bad at all. Uh, interesting. They didn't block squat. They have trample, right? It's trample and lifelink. It's so annoying. So I can't even, like, chump block with a Muta Ball. Um, okay, I am going to upkeep, attempt to block, tap down this Frexian nonsense. They could give it protection, but if they do, whatever. Then they tap down their Giver of Runes for the turn. Do I have that in the song? Yeah, it went quieter. You might also went it. Has it always been like that? I don't, I don't think so. It's a remix. You have to look at the source file. Don't block block Caldra with Svelun. Oh yeah. yeah, it doesn't work the way we want it to. Now the sad thing is, there's a lot of blockers. There's one... Okay, if I draw Master of the Pearl Trident, do we win? That would be... Uh, 3, 6, 9... Okay, hold on. 3, 6... Hold on, this is 10. 10, 16, 22. Yeah, that's a, that's a kill. We need Master of the Pearl Trident. Oh, God. I'm putting the Shadow Spear on the Stoneforge Mystic. Very smarty pants of you. Okay, Island Walker for the win. Island Walker for the win. Island Walker! No Island Walker. Could you attack with Spadley and then... I definitely can't. Um, we could... Okay, that's an option. I could Tide Shaper, hit an Ink Moth, I guess. Or maybe a Planes, just in case I have some removal spell in hand. Uh, activate everything, go in for an attack, and then hope, and then hope I draw something useful. Currently playing song via ACR Cloud, Nintendo Switch, featuring Big O McDonald. What the hell? Okay, we're gonna cast this. Okay, what are our options? 23 life. We don't attack with everything. Shadow Spear is only attacking us for six next turn. You have to go all in. No, I don't. I don't have to go all in. Okay, so you're at effectively 23 life. We attack with everything. Problem is, if I have no blockers afterwards, I do have to go all in. Well, if I attack for a good chunk of damage right now and it goes through, okay, I mean, whatever. Okay, hold on. I'm just trying to think of what are my other outs. I mean, I, Flame of Anor is not an out anymore. I've tapped out too much. Trickster is not an out. Oh, Trickster with Mutavolt block. Hold on, can this, can I win with just these creatures? This is 5, 10, 16, 
22. Okay, so I can attack with all these creatures, leave Mutavolt up, so that if I draw a Trickster, I can try to tap down the Frexian Germ Token. They'll give Pro Blue. I can block with Mutavolt, save myself one more turn. So Trickster is an out. Trickster's an out. Um, that might be it. All right, let's go. Let's go! Come on, 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 come on. Lord. One time! No, don't waste the one time. Well, there's a flame of Venor. It's my one time, though, not yours. <laughs> I think that's a pretty shitty waste of a one time. I would have been very happy if it worked. Oh, yeah? Because he probably thinks, oh, I got it in the bag. Yeah. My one time spent on hoping a Lord was top decked in a pretty shitty situation. You know what's funny? They might have killed me with Infect at this point. They've been spending so much time trying to kill me on the ground. Okay, does Flame of Anor do anything? Like, not really. Okay, can I... If I block... Shadow Spear can... I can destroy the Shadow Spear. But unfortunately, I can't do anything about this living weapon. It's indestructible. Okay, we will not block this thing. We might even draw two cards next turn and see what happens. Because I still have lethal if I draw Lord. So now we get to draw three cards. Actually, four cards for Lord! Four cards! That's pretty good. That's a lot of cards. But it could be five. Okay, uh, do we fetch to thin the deck? The answer is maybe. Uh, fetch to thin the deck. Also, I can kill this thing. Another target creature, yeah. You can't protect itself. Okay, so let's fetch to thin the deck. Ugh, it's so ugly. If I, because if I fetch, maybe I should not have played this. If I fetch to thin the deck, then any one of these stone forges can kill me next turn. It's not pleasant. Or does it matter? Like, am I trying to win this turn? Because I can, I can now absorb a lot of damage. Because I can blow up. Oh, no, I think I'm gonna want to like kill Giver of Runes. And then draw two cards. Or does that even matter? Maybe it doesn't even matter. It goes in the air, it doesn't matter. Okay, we're gonna fetch the thin the deck. We're going for it. We'll win this turn, damn it. Okay. Target play draws two cards, and we will deal five damage to that giver of runes. I would like those cards, please. Kill this giver of runes, please. Hey, the Black Hand of Nod. Uh, it's going well. That's uh, Command and Conquer, isn't it? It's going well as of now. Okay, something's getting protection. Yes, okay. it is. Yeah. That's... Lord, please. It's Kane of Nod. Not Lord. That's all I know about that game. Not Lord at all. We have to deal shot. 14 damage. Is there any merit to leaving things on defense for one more turn? Because I could play another Tide Shaper. Play Tide Shaper, hit like, I don't know. Did I, hit, I hit a planes. I could hit the other planes. And I have enough block. I, like, I can double block this germ. Oh, that sucks again. More life, though. Or I can attack. Yeah, I can attack with Svaloon. Ah, it's so hard. I can't kill this stupid indestructible life link gaining nonsense. Can't pick the same one twice. Huh? They're wondering how come you didn't get four cards. Oh, I would have loved that. That would be insane. Three mana, draw four cards. That's just absolutely broken. Um, shoot. So 
question. I mean, the, the real question is if I if I wait another turn, how much does it really benefit me? I guess I the thing is if I wait another turn, I draw two more cards off of Svelun. Because I can attack with Svelun now, draw a card. The next turn, attack with Svelun, draw another card. But And it comes at the cost of double blocking this thing and then chump blocking these two. Go for can more. I do that? Can I, I can double block with these two and use Tide Shapers to block the Stoneforge Mystics. So that will work. And I still have... No, but then do I have lethal after that? So if I lose these two and my opponent goes to 20, this will be uh, 4, 8, 12, uh, 14, 19 damage. Go for glory. All right, looks like we're just going to go for it, I guess. Uh, do I win with just what's on the battlefield here? This is three, sorry, four, eight, ten, more than enough. Okay, so I have a backup plan if this doesn't work, sort of. Or do I, I can just attack with these? No, I need to attack with at least the Silver Gill Adept. I guess I'll leave the Hex Catcher back. There is never written you can't choose the same no mode two times. No, it says, choose one. If you control a wizard as you cast a spell, you may choose two instead. But it doesn't mean you can choose the same mode twice. It doesn't say it explicitly, though. <laughs> it's merely implied. Okay. Come on, 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 come on. Lord of Atlantis. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Lord, baby. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Or Master of the Pro Trident. I don't remember. Don't remember. <laughs> what a fail. Epic fail. What is this? Now he's got some. Oh, the Ink Moth Nexus is coming in. I don't even think I can block the Frexian. Game one goes to the Hammer player. Lame. Blood Friday, yeah. Come on, you just block anything, it doesn't matter. This isn't Flood, like we're drawing a bunch of stuff. I just can't deal, I, can, I just can't get in the last few points of damage for victory. Aren't you supposed to cast the Tide Shaper? No, because I need... Do I need this Mutavault? Oh, whatever. My plan was to block with this Mutavault. Oh, that is weird. Oh, well, look at that. That's creative. Mm hmm All right, then. Very creative. Lame. All right, let's bring in the good stuff. We're going to bring in a Harbinger. More Spreading Seas. Not that I needed it in the first game. I don't like Force Negation all that much in this matchup. Uh, spring, uh, silver gill adapt. Actually, hold on, we gotta keep some silver gill. I'll, I'll just take out two spaloons, I guess. Spaloons okay, but not in multiples. Uh, you want to be a little bit low to the ground in this matchup, and I, I don't like silver gill adapt in this matchup either. But it has flame of anor synergy. Because I have it one four a. Maybe I will take out. I don't know what I want to take out more. S ah, I think this is fine. I, I don't like silver gill adapt in the matchup, but spaloons not amazing either. Collective Brutality doesn't let you choose the same mode twice. Collective Brutality, you can only choose several several different modes. <laughs> I don't think there is... I, I think it might specify you can choose the same mode twice. That's it. Uh, like, what was it called? There's a Commander card lets you choose the same mode like three times if you want. This hand's awkward. I guess I keep... Yeah, the confluences. They specifically say you can ch choose the same mode over and over again. Uh, my hand is clogged with Tide Shapers, so I guess I'll play one. Mm -hmm. oh, that was a bad draw for this hand. 
cast a so Well, I could go Tide Shaper and really hope they get mana screwed. Go t a Tide Shaper into Tide Shaper. All right, let's go for it. High risk, and I get to attack this turn. <laughs> It's not how I intended to mana screw them, but uh, I because I think I need time. My hand's atrocious. Yeah, I'm gonna tide shape for that too. Here's a hammer. Got to keep him off that pure steel paladin mana. Bluff Canal. Okay, let us. I guess just to know what what's going on, I will play the Tide Shaper in advance. Make sure that I don't know, I'm getting, not getting hit by Path to Exile. Because they could Path to Exile one of the Tide Shapers. The, the Tide Shaper that's hitting the island, or the sorry, the plains. Shrink the other Tide Shaper and just block. This definitely makes Urza Saga a hell of a lot better, though. Okay, path. Looks like I'm going to hard cast our Silver Gill Adept for 5 mana next turn. Interesting, no block. Uh, drat! I, <laughs> damn it, Path to Exile screwed me. I, sh I, I guess I had to play the Spire Bluff Canal first. It's so bizarre. Stone Forge Mystic. How many lords are in this deck? I feel lord deprived. Okay, College of Complete again. We got the combo of Giver Runes and Cauldron Complete. I just need a Lord to dodge all this stuff. Oh, we do have, however, the Giver of... Uh, we do have Lightning Bolts, which I will... Hmm. Interesting. I guess I can attack. Then if they block and give protection from one to one of these things, that's fine. Priority is to bolt the Stoneforge Mystic. A rare YouTube stream, that's right. Oh, they didn't fall for it. I'm just taking the damage. So, I need to bolt something. Right? I guess I don't need to bolt anything. Maybe I just play Silver Gill Adept. Who cares? I mean, I can't bolt the Stoneforge Mystic. Total high, very important right now. Another lightning bolt. Okay, well, maybe this is going to come down to damage. would do it right now. No, it wouldn't. Okay, so we're gonna lose. We're gonna take two damage. Silver Gill Adept will die. Is that worth it? Make me regret not lightning bolting this thing in the first place. He 
Yeah, I think I want to keep my silver gill adapt, so we'll bolt this. A rare YouTube's dream. Yes. Yeah, I know. This is gonna be a little close. Could have really used that two x two extra damage. Uh, okay, I'll play an ether vial and pass. So you attack me for seven ish. Ooh, and then I'm like close to dead next turn. Okay, here's pure steel paladin, which I almost knew existed. Not stream sniping at all. I do anything about this? Equip for zero on this thing, and I die. Yeah, okay, good game. Boom. A little too many lands. Could use a few less lands. Could I have played a little tighter? I don't know. I think I think I did the most I could in that match. Do I still play chess? I play chess so much. I have a chess. I, I just started streaming chess. Maybe I'll, st maybe I'll stream some chess today. Probably not. <laughs> I played a title Tuesday like last week. Cause I'm a title, like, so it turns out I'm a titled player. I didn't know I qualified for something called title Tuesday. And I played, uh, I played four rounds. Okay, we're, we're waiting for round three to start. We'll just talk. So I, I, I played five rounds, sorry. And I, I like destroyed three Fide Masters. Um, I did lose to one of them anyway, even though I was destroying them, because I was just, I was like really low on time, and I was like just flabbergasted at them, blowing them away. Watch your time. So I can't wait to play in another title Tuesday. Did you ever figure out why you got kicked out of the tournament? It's just a thing, like you have to just stay on the tab, you can't move, and just, just, it's just how it is. You're not allowed to move from the tab. You move from the tab, you get kicked out of the tournament, or you Maybe just you're get, cheating. you get kicked out of your game. Maybe you're cheating. Maybe I mean I don't know. They should have some function of like going back to your game or event. Like go back to this page to be back in your event. If you're not there in time, then you then you get really kicked out. We're up against I love you. That's great. <laughs> you can't. You have to concede. And is great. Okay, I'll keep. You can't hurt the ones who love you. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even go to the toilet. No, you can go to the toilet. That's yeah, not a problem. Yeah, in your chair. No, we're up against scam. We haven't seen a scam all day. Thank God I get this in before the scam player scams me. Well, I guess they don't have a scam hand. The, the real scam here is just hitting me with Raghavan over and over again. If I don't draw land, it's going to hurt. Come on, take my non-lands off the top of my deck. Uh, they took an island. No, that's a bad scam deck. That's bad. I don't want you to do that. Is your gamer bucket within reach? What the hell does that mean? Like something to pee in or something? What, is that, what does that mean these days? It's both, it's both his toilet and his trough, yes. Oh. <laughs> All at the same time. No, I am not the type of person that ever wanted to uh, lose enough dignity <laughs> to pee in a, like a Pepsi bottle or whatever. And yeah, when the title's on the line, you'll do anything. No, I will not do anything. <laughs> <laughs> um, you only get one shot. So the problem is if I play... Hexcatcher, it dies to Bowmasters, so I think I'd rather just get my Master of Pearl Trident in play. Which has more resistance versus Bowmasters. What if, what if it went into some sort of cooling system for your computer? What, you so, pee in something and then it cools off my computer? Yeah, yeah look at the, look how resourceful we are <laughs> these days as as uh, millennials. Like, like maybe they can uh, superconduct the ammonia in it or something. I don't know. This sounds terrible. I don't want to cool my computer off with my urine. <laughs> it's going to come out real warm and stuff uh, initially. The gamer bucket. I know it, I know in the po in my poker days there were all sorts of poker players that peed in a bottle cuz it was like it cost them too much money to get up like stop the tables, go somewhere cuz then when you come back you have to like basically wait another rotation. And also, there's always the risk that uh, if the table, if too much of the table is sitting out, like the fish leaves. And some players even do this in live games. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, that risk didn't exist. <laughs> uh, okay, so we get to block. We get to block a Ragavan, which means they have another Ragavan. It always means they have another Ragavan. That was a great episode of South Park. What peeing in a bottle at a poker game? Well, when they were all playing Warcraft. And they got, uh... It's from the Warcraft South Park episode. No, well, way before that... Oh, 
Thoughtsies. Thoughtsies away. They should have all just played Hello Kitty Adventure Island. As Butters wanted. I have no idea what they'll take. It takes... They could take a Svelun, but then I get to play both hex, cat, hex catchers next turn. Both of them. I've heard day traders say they've pissed themselves on the trading floor. That is... See, like, the things for mine... You know, you don't need that extra edge. That's the way I looked at it. Like, you're already making enough money. You really want to live with yourself knowing you pissed yourself or shit yourself or peed in a bottle. And there was all sorts of weird forum posts back then, like, my girlfriend found my pee bottle or whatever, you know? Because they put it underneath their bed. What is this? Oh, shit. Forgot all... to dump it in the toilet. Yeah. Fury, all right. Fury way. I guess that means this Fury's coming back. That's the whole point of scam. We're about to get scammed here. Scam away. Yeah. Scam roomy. Scam yourself. Is it a May? It when it enters the battlefield, it deals four damage divided as you choose among any number of target target stuff. Okay, come on, land. Land for Svelun would be sweet. All right, I'll take it. I'm still hurting on the inside and the outside. There's an infamous incident with a former MTG creator pissing in the floor drain in his basement. That is weird. Did they do it on stream? Could you hear the tinkling in the background? Oh, guys, I gotta pee. Can't leave my... Can't leave the... Maybe the toilet was bust, waiting for a plumber. Or I guess what? There was the drain right underneath the table, so they don't have to go anywhere. Uh, I am not blocking this. So I'm gonna get hit for eight, go to six. And this thing's gonna be a problem. We're getting scammed, people. Oh no, I can block it! I screwed up! Oh, I'm so stupid. Because I have the I have the hex catcher. Sorry everyone, I'm just not playing a clean game of magic today. It looks like they had okay, they had removal anyway. Yes, you could hear it. <laughs> okay, so they're gonna snipe this thing for damage. They can pay for it with the treasure. So it's doomed to die no matter what. Well as George Costanza says, it's all pipes. It's all pipes! It's the same thing, peeing in the shower. What's wrong with that? <laughs> Nothing wrong with peeing in the shower. Okay, find me something useful, Svelun, please. That is useful, but I have no wizard. Svelun is not a wizard. <laughs> but I can kill this thing. Okay, their army gets bigger. Sure, have a bigger army. My orc army. Well... Can't really do much from here. <laughs> can, you, can you like DM me who the hell this is? So I, I might make a video out of it. That sounds like such a great clickbait title. MTG streamer pees in the drain. And I just have a bunch of clips of them peeing in the drain. <laughs> uh, another Raghavan. I knew you had another one. can't beat all everything I love you wins you should say in the chat oh, nice. if you really love me he'll resign yeah okay let's bring in useful stuff beef I guess we're gonna take out Aetherval oh no do we okay I'm, I don't like Tide Shaper I don't like Silvergill Adept either maybe we're gonna bring in back Time Shaper anyway literal MTG streamer yeah Yes, yeah, streaming. Straight into the drain. Is Lightning Bolt good? Lightning Bolt's great. Okay, I'll take out maybe two Aether Vials. Sort of want Mistcaller, but Mistcaller sort of sucks too. Gotta keep some wizards in here for the wizard. Oh no, Force Negation's terrible. Okay, so we can bring some stuff back. Let's bring in Mistcaller. Let's bring in some Tide Shapers. Good enough. Submit. That still kills the Fury? No, I my the Fury was a 4-4 double striker. My Svelun was only a 3-4. You won the oh, oh, you're talking about the Flame of Venor. Yeah, it would still kill the Fury, but they're always getting attacked for a billion. A billion! This hand's fine. I'll keep. Billion. One million dollars! Don't, don't grieve me, 
bro. Or ma'am. Here we go. He oh, okay. Could be worse. Even Peter wants uh, his monkey dead. I'm gonna get an island, because this is a Blood Moon deck. They might Blood Moon me out of the game. I have oh, no idea. Lord Magic has sent you the info. That's great. It is, the, it is the type of thing I would want to make a video on. It's in my wheelhouse. <laughs> Empty, I just have to find enough clips of them doing it. Maybe I'll maybe I'll maybe we'll contact them. Maybe they'll want to collab for a video. See their side of the story. Yeah. <laughs> so my plan is to bounce this Ragavan with Harbinger, sort of slow the game down and get some value out of this flame of Anor. Yeah, he, he did DM me this. So what is this? Oh, <laughs> okay. Maybe this streamer will not collab with me. It's not the MTG streamer I thought the, I thought it was gonna be. Uh, okay, what is this? What's going? On? They flaming anor of me. Target player draws two cards. Can I draw the two cards? Are they gonna discard to hand size? That's a lot of cards. They have no more land drops. That's a. That's not the greatest value. Yeah, I'm going to bounce this thing with Harbinger, and then we f see where we go from there. Okay, let's bounce. This is f finally a tempo play. I miss Animal Crossing New Leaf. We didn't have to sell it. Well, there's no updates to it. After you catch, everything is done. We get the new, you get the new Animal Crossing. That's want, the update. That, that's, a, that's how they do it. That's how they get you. There was no, there was no bitter. What did you have? New Leaf for the 3DS. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna block this stupid thing. This block. Funny situation here. I don't think the MTG community wants to see that guy anymore after all his controversy. Oh no, not grief, not double grief. Don't do it to me. Uh, they're gonna double grief me. Don't grief me, bro. Well, what am I doing? I have a subtlety in my hand. Ugh. Not a clean game, man. No, it's not. It's not clean at all. Yeah, you know, I've baked my brain. I had a like a, a local chess championship. I spent a total of twenty hours playing chess over three days. All my games went over four hours each. It was so frustrating. Cause I could subtlety this, then. Well, I mean, they would bring it back. They have a handful of cards, so maybe it's just, like, inevitable. But still, like, it's... I, I think it's worth it. Actually, I can... Maybe... No, they're gonna take Harbinger here. Well, I don't know what's gonna happen. Anything could happen. Anything could happen. Start doing back I would, har I would Harbinger it, though. Uh, oh, interesting. Okay. Hmm. Is there something I don't know? Because I will absolutely bounce the stupid grief. Because that was... They hit me... That's what... It was basically a three for two. I mean, if they want to do that dance and party again, that's just going to be another... Because it's... Oh, no, but they get to keep the grief at the end. Shield Dread! Uh, answer to that is going to be no. It's a big bokeh. It's not a bug. It's a Praetor. Which sort of looks like a bug. <laughs> I'm just looking. Is that underwear? At the top? Looks like a bra and bikini. Yeah. Very strange. Okay, so this I could sell to you, or this I could say... Well, the problem is if this thing resolves, I'm sort of screwed. Okay, so I guess we'll hit the spreading seas, and then we just gotta go all in. Gotta hope that there's no removal here. If they go grief, I guess I'm screwed. Because I really need this Master of the Pearl Trident to uh, resolve. No more blue cards, huh? Or sorry, no more black cards in hand? Or they want to hard cast the thing? They put it on top of their library? Okay, that's fair game. Um, okay, we'll get our Lord in play so we can guarantee some damage. 
hopefully we can get the other Lord in play. I, yeah, I remembered subtlety now. Okay, Chill Dread resolves. If you have no removal, then I might be fine. Ooh, that was a great draw. Okay, this we can race. Maybe it's a rare game where I can race a stupid scam deck. Unless they re-scam me with like Fury, Evoked Fury into, you know, Evoked Fury and then bring it back. I do have lethal on the board. Ha! Sweet. What a <laughs> weird hand. They had a really weird hand. Okay, we're on the draw now. Nothing changes. Let's go. Promotional cards. Very much so, yeah. <sighs> Could it be that 40% of the time that I can beat this deck? Please. This hand uh, sort of sucks. Keep it. We can go turn one, nothing. Actually, if they go, um, that's always frustrating. Thought is extra backbreaking in this deck. <laughs> I could go, well, yeah, I probably won't play Tide Shaper now. If they went turn one, Raghavan, I would play Tide Shaper just to hope to block the stupid damn thing. You'd also Flame of Nor can kill. Shield Red, apparently. He's having a good think about it. Well, one nice thing is like, you know, Flame of Anor is a card worth taking, and Svelun is also a card worth taking. All these songs are bangers. It's just I'm so used to them already. You gotta get some Goldeneye music on here. Yeah, you keep saying that. <laughs> no, not that one. It'd, just be, it'd be so out of place. With the rest get, of the soundtrack. You gotta get Silo, you gotta get... Uh... <laughs> Was that the dam? Yeah, dam sucks. Okay, they don't know about Lightning Bolt. Dam is okay. Frigate. Frigate's got a great soundtrack. Dam has uh, a lot of great nostalgia. Because it's dam. Okay, so... Uh, they took the Spreading Seas, so they're afraid of Spreading Seas, huh? You're afraid of spreading seas, hmm? Don't have any good targets here. I got nothing. Do I do nothing? Spreading seas. Yeah, but I can't. I don't get. I can't hit any red sources. I think I'm gonna do nothing. And then next turn, spreading seas like a blood crypt or something. I really want to get to a point where I have four lands and I can play like Tide Shaper and Flame of Anor on the same turn. So I'm hoping to bolt like something here. Here comes Spreading Seas number two. They also, I mean, they're playing like they've got Fury and they've got it like a pitchable spell. Okay, so we will. What is Spreading Seas this? Never didn't have it. Hey, Matt Matic. Yeah, like, uh, so hey. many of you are, like, just hard against YouTube. YouTube. It's like, streaming on YouTube. Nope. Can't have that. Haven't seen just that in a long just while. Bought, just boycotting the crap out of it. Need a reboot song or two? What do you mean, from the TV show? You familiar with the reboot? We used to watch it during the break. After yeah, you would leave. I know. <laughs> We're watching reboot. Next we'll be watching Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. See, they're not doing any. They're not doing anything. That's so weird. They have to have like when they do this, it's like they have a pile of removal and fury. Like they're trying to get some value out of a fury. We just we're not gonna let them do that. Um, I guess I can harbinger at end of turn, and then maybe get some value out of Flame of Anor. Watching from an Airbnb on a boat. That is a bizarre Airbnb. Well, you have to like go out to sea in order to get there. What is this? 
Mill three cards, return a creature card from your graveyard to your hand. I have never seen this ability being played. All right, what did you get? Did you get anything? Returns no cards. Swing and a miss. Okay, maybe their hand just sucks. I've, I have not evaluated this properly. More like a water BNB. Okay, I will, I guess, start the party with a Harbinger. Get an island just in case this is relevant versus uh, Blood Moon. Okay, want to use a removal spell on this? Go for it. Are there any lizard wizards in Magic? Lizard wizard? Yes, I think there's a few of them. I, I actually don't mind drawing a bunch of lands. It's okay. I'm okay with this. Bow map. Okay. Can anyone ask, if I play this Flame of Anor, um, like, how is this going to work? I want to draw two cards. Oh, no. I could, I could still bolt it, I guess. I'm just wondering if when this resolves... If I kill it at the same time, uh, does it do what I want it to do? Or do I have to bolt this thing right now? Get it on the stack first. I don't know. Well, no, that's the thing. I don't want it on the stack first. I want to be very careful about this. Or do they have multiples? It will trigger twice. That will suck. Um... So I have to kill the Bowmaster. They're gonna block with a token. I could, well, I guess I'm just gonna draw two and then kill the tokens to keep my Harbinger alive. So the real danger is if they have another Bowmaster, then that would be ugly. Actually, if they have another Bowmaster and they play it, I guess that's okay. Oh, how dare you. Minus five, minus five, minus. I don't really want to though. Okay, if I use the minus five, minus five, it will trigger. They draw two cards, then they amass like a billion. Ugh, this is so frustrating. We've gone to war all of a sudden. What I want is I want to want this stupid thing off the board. So I kill it, they just have a big amass creature in the end. How many of these undying malices do you have, bro? Okay, so I flame of Anor. You're gonna kill my Harbinger. So Harbinger's dead anyway, because if it comes back, it's dead. This is my turn too. Turns out their hand sucked. Their hand really sucked. I could just let Harbinger die, but the, the, there's a big threat that if I like play Tide Shaper into Mass of the Pearl Trident, that they just tap out and play Fury. But then if they do that, can I play Flame of Anor then? Not really. Well, my wizard's dead. Get on a wizard. No, I think if I have any value out of this, it's now. I'll be the player. So you may chew up my Harbinger big time. I want the cards. Undying Malice again. Well, at least he's okay, on that was a stack. It was a stack. And I got cards. And I can bounce the army. We'll bounce the army. Army gonna get bounced. Okay, let this all resolve, please. They are at one. I mean, we have to be ahead here. They have one card left. Yeah. Okay, Harbinger's dead. I will fetch. Okay, walloped for six damage. Get an island. The ether vial. 
and we'll be ready to harbinger next turn the only thing backbreaking i mean there's a few backbreaking cards still we have to deal with uh potential fury potential grief grief hitting our harbinger would really suck um what nope. else not happening skip right to the attack yeah that's some good news no stop it no there's the shield red is a really bad draw for us absolutely brutal okay i do have to get rid of that army though okay so i'm gonna lose a bunch of life opponent draws a card we lose two life it's a lot of life i don't want to lose okay let's bounce you probably play <laughs> actually Svaloon sort of sucks now Svaloon's sort of awkward Ako taco um i have to tap this down actually Otherwise, you gain life and beat my face in. Do I upkeep? Yeah, so upkeep, and I'm just gonna have to lose some life next turn. And we just have to do as much damage as humanly possible. Or fishly possible. Merfolkly possible. And I guess I have to block this bow masters. Would you just cut it out? Yeah. Would you just stop? <laughs> stop playing things, please. Yeah, funny. Turns out their hands sort of sucked. Orcish Bowmasters and a bunch of these undying malices aren't very good. Oh, but I, th I do... Uh, we still don't know. They might have been babying a Fury the entire time, which is sort of how I feel this game. But they might not have had a re another red card in their hand. They like dumpster these fable the mirror breakers into the graveyard. Generally speaking, when I'm up against scam and they do nothing for several turns, it's like they've got fury and they're waiting to use it with undying malice, and I cannot win from here. I'm gonna, I can't attack, and I'll draw a card next turn and die. Scammed again. Scammed again. I got scammed. Maybe this lightning bolt is overrated. Maybe we just have to just deal with it. Maybe lightning bolt should be harbinger. It's like, it's been so, so in all the games. Like at least dismember can kill a much larger creature. Hmm. Maybe this is the sole problem. I'm having trouble. Getting my lightning bolt on. How many decks are even playing Ragavan now? Scam. That's it. No one trusts. Nobody trusts playing Ragavan. Because it could get banned at any moment? No, because Bowmasters kills it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the problem. The ecosystem is healthy. <laughs> yeah, in some way. Uh, we'll keep this hand. So that's interesting. What if this lightning bolt is a harbinger instead? At least Bowmasters did some good. Yeah, get rid of... <laughs> it eradicated all the one-toughness creatures, including Ragavan, except in the one... De <laughs> except in Scam. All the other Ragavan decks did also go get lower in numbers. Uh-oh, it's this deck again. <laughs> and guess what they're gonna do? Guess what they're gonna do? Yeah, this interaction should be banned already. Huh? This interaction should be banned <laughs> People, when Grief first started doing this, they thought it should be banned. Yeah, they take the force negation. At least it was a force negation magnet, because otherwise uh, we would snipe this thing off. I mean, I guess they have to take the lightning bolt, because otherwise the Grief dies. Unless they are fine with uh, three for three, which is which is I think they would be fine for a three for three. Like their individual cards are just so much more powerful. Yeah, they're fine with this interaction. I mean, I will bolt it because I can't really beat the clock. But again, that could be Harbinger. That was a pleasant draw. Grief should be banned just for making non-games. I don't know. If it's too strong, just makes bad games. It does make... 
It ma it makes awkward games. It's not fun. Ooh, my God! Look at this art. This is amazing. Thought sees me. That's a cool art. Here we go, Mutavault. You have a job. You want a job, Mutavault? You get paid under the table. Yeah. Where, you, a where a sub game is being played. Correct? What you're doing isn't strictly legal. Yeah, get in there. <laughs> the nine turn clock. Protection from fury. Not a great play pattern since scam seems to be seem pretty clearly to be both best and most played deck in the format. Oh yeah. Um. I gotta. No, actually, fetching I should have done last turn. We got another one. There is another one. In insert Yoda meme. There is another. There's another Muta Vault. Oh, yeah, I just love this card. <laughs> And they get and they get to keep the bowmasters on the battlefield. You can exchange with a three toughness creature. Who thought this was like a good idea? Like that's my biggest problem. This was such a bad idea. Don't you remember reading about this character in the Tolkien novels? Yeah, they killed Boromir. <laughs> and they had and they, and and when they were cast, they got plus one plus. <laughs> but Boromir, I don't think, was a three three creature. Uh, again, I forgot to fetch this thing. Not that it's that big of a deal. Okay, we got a hex catcher now. Bowmasters is the reason I refuse to play now. It's a different world, that's for sure. Oh, no blocks, huh? Are you scared now? Well, I'm scared to play my hex catcher because who knows what the hell you have up your sleeve card is a bunch of words I can't even say on stream. <laughs> yeah, it's bullshit. <laughs> this is such a bad card. Whoever designed it needs to be fired. Well, I wouldn't say that. But oh, uh, they could be watching the stream. I hope your yacht gets taken away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as if Wizards of Coast employees have yachts. Okay, let's pay life. Let's thin the deck. Uh, I don't think there's main deck Blood Moon, so let's just get a bunch of Steam Vents. I'm not going to put a Hex Catcher in play until I know it's safe. Fired from a cannon into a volcano. Do we have a beep sound effect yet? What do you mean beep? Like censorship. Oh. Um. I, I, I do have one, but I just don't have it ready for the stream. Did I have something like that? I don't remember. I might have had him like, I don't care. I can say fuck on stream. It's no big deal to me. Uh-oh. Here's what? the red mana. There was a period of about two years where we couldn't, though. For me, even three. Well, we could. I would just earn less money on YouTube, that's all. <laughs> For every swear word used, you earned one dollar less. Yeah, something like that. Um, okay, so I will... This is not a bad spot to blow our Hex Catcher off, because, uh... We should keep magic clean, though. No reason to, uh... This thing's so vulnerable... ...to everything. Like, Hex Catcher dies to Fury, it dies to, like... It ...dies to Bowmasters. A lot of problems. I'll just throw the trickster out and try to deal a few extra points of damage. Who knows? We never know when that damage is going to matter. I hate it when it makes me click my ether vial on the stack. Hello there! Beautiful! Ah, oh, but we still have this stupid prick in play. 
Now, I could blow up an artifact and deal five damage, but that's not very exciting. Ugh. Yeah, you could blow up your own e five up. So, if I attack, I will lose my trickster. No, I sorry, I can attack. If I flame of an aura, I'll lose the trickster. Because it'll shoot it twice. Okay, I'm gonna wait. We're gonna bait. We're gonna sit on this flame of Venor for a little while. Cause maybe I'll just use it to deal five damage. It's not terrible. It has several modes. One of them is I could choose one of them. Is that if they play, what's it called? Um, Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Is that an artifact creature? Or is that a red creature? I think it's just a red creature that makes artifacts. Hope the pressure's on. There is a fury. So maybe I, I will draw cards and blow up that fury. So that's why I don't like to put too many cards in play. Because they're just gonna die. Oh, it went straight to the bin! They are very insecure about their position right now. That was not a sign of strength. That was a sign of supreme weakness. Another ether vial. That is also weakness. Mm, deal two damage. <laughs> now I cannot draw. Now I cannot use two modes with this card. Terminates. Okay, I could draw two, kill this thing, and I have to deal with a two-two. I think that's fine. Deal five damage. Draw two. So I'm about to lose everything anyway. Actually, it'd be a problem if, uh, what's it called? They, <laughs> they try to reanimate this thing. Well, this sort of sucked. Well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe if we draw <laughs> another land, this will be fine. Mana screw them with our Tide Shapers. The reflection is an enchantment, but that doesn't help. No, I was just talking about the creature it made. Raghavan would dash, a dashing Raghavan. Dash away. It's not terrible. We'll get a. Uh, let's play Tide Shaper. Get the red source I wanted to hit last turn. So we now have an extra red source. Uh, play Vile. There's a bit of an argument to like playing the other Tide Shaper so that when they play, if they dash Ragavan, I could like use it to like just throw it away. Also, I have six damage to kill them next turn. Yeah, leave the Eth Vile. Nah, I'm gonna keep it. Keep the, it on the bench. The bench if, if they use the treasure to play Ragavan with Dash, I guess I'll trickster the Ragavan and uh, let it get bounced. And they lost their red mana again. Big boy. Holy moly. You're coming for my hand, huh? I guess I want to trickster tap the army, so that if they my opponent wants to block, they have to lose the grief. Because this is just the worst thing to block with. Alright. I have no cards left in my hand. You have many cards left in your hand. Hopefully lots of things you can't cast. Although I know one of them is Raghavan. Damn this fury! It's gonna get banned. This whole deck is gonna get banned. Who knows? Nope. Bum, bum. There's nothing bum, bum. fun. 
Boom. 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 Uh, well, at least the fury went down with the ship. <laughs> Monster CC's like, ah, I'm pretty tired of fury. I'm also tired of fury. Aren't we all tired of fury? Uh, pass. But I do play small creature decks. Well, normally I don't care. Uh, I mean, normally I don't care about Fury, but this deck actually makes Fury pretty damn good. Also, normally I don't care about this deck, but Bowmasters makes this deck like way too good. Like, Bowmasters even preemptively undermines our Flame of an Ore card. Is Flame of, of an Ore worth it? Well, maybe not with Bowmasters still in existence. That's a lot of creatures I gotta deal with. Is this game one or is this game two? That's just how it is when you're drawing. When you, I my mana base is not like uh, value dense, sadly enough. I guess if I got lightning bolt for maybe harbinger, then it can be more value based because then I can add more muta vaults and maybe Ottawaras or something. All right, what did we do? We're bringing in the harbinger. We're bringing in spreading seas. We're bringing in subtlety. Taking out. Force of Negation, taking out two Ether Vials, taking out um, Silver Gill Adapt, and that'd be it. Godspeed. <laughs> That'll teach you to try for trying to play creatures and modern. Now, yeah, the modern's still determined by creatures, but big creatures. Crappy broken creatures. If I play synergistic creatures, we could play two for one creatures. Two creatures at the same time. Alright, we won the, we won the we've won the die roll a lot of times. It's not particularly useful. Um, with this particular hand, I guess I will do nothing. Uh, Steam has come to play battlefield tapped. Does is it Merfolk want fiery islet? That's possible. Yeah, I mean, uh, especially with, uh, what's it called? The fact that I'm playing Aether Vial, it, it might be worth it. Maybe it should have been the card instead of, what's it called? Uh... The problem is, uh, sorry, instead of Spire Bluff Canal. The only issue with Fiery Islet is you take a lot of damage from that card. Like, if you have four of them in your deck, you take this insane amount of damage in practice. Oh, look, we were up against the scam interaction itself. The damage absolutely adds up. What's the counter to Orcish Bowmasters? I guess just Orcish Bowmasters. There's nothing else that beats that card. Not in any useful way, anyhow. I think my only line is... Well, I wouldn't say this is my only line. But I will... Um, I don't want to show them that I have steam vents. Okay, I'll fetch. plays around some form of blood moon and I guess we'll just pass and tap down tap the grief and then if we're lucky we got to flame of an ore next turn or do I do this no I want to keep my life total as high as possible the only thing I risk is that they could play fury and then bring it back which would be another horrible pain Voidwalker is not bad. Maybe I kill this. Because I certainly don't want to give them the Flame of Anor and draw two cards. That would suck. If a card would be put into an opponent's graveyard from anywhere exiled with a Void counter on it. So this just deals four damage. This deals three damage, which is also still a lot of damage. Okay, let's... 
cast. Let's draw two. Let's deal five damage. I'll draw two. Kill this thing. It's time to dust off the old Is It Staticaster? Maybe. Is it time for Is It Staticaster? You know, I have to say, Flame of Anor is, like, only okay. Like, it's a good card. I think it, you know, it's sort of nice value. But it's not as mind-blowing as I was hoping it was going to be. And it certainly still has problems versus Bowmasters. The Fable. Hmm. Attack for two, I guess. If they block, we uh, hex catcher. They might be inviting this because they have fury, but you know, like, what are we gonna do? Bad fury. All right, everyone, I must go. I you gotta go. Oh yeah. I have a one-hour bus ride and then a two-hour bike ride. Everyone, say bye to my brother. I'll be here next streaming day. Yeah. Whenever that's gonna be. Which will be after the Fusion Gaming uh, Online Open Tournament. Yeah, it's a Saturday, yep. Everyone's saying goodbye. They said ride safe. Oh yeah, don't worry, the bus beats everything else. Bus, I don't know, like what other vehicle beats the bus? A semi-truck? Train, I guess. Probably the train. But you know, uh, bus versus car, van. Uh, bus is actually pretty high up on the food chain of you know, what's going to survive a, car, a, a vehicle crash. Okay, right, see ya. Don't intend on blocking. What are they? They dumped two Dothy Voidwalkers. There's three Dothy Voidwalkers in this graveyard. Oh, that's too sad. That's very sad. Ragavan with Dash. That is weird. Because I can block this thing. So I guess they're going to fatal push my hex catcher, or they're going to try to. So I will just block this because that's free. And like, if they try to kill the hex catcher, I can just then sack the tide shaper that was going to die anyway. Oh, that is just a weird line. Yeah, let's just throw away the Ragavan. Oh, they're going to Bowmasters kill the uh, hex catcher. You again? Okay. They trap me. Not that not that I have any options. Like I have to block the Ragavan. My life total is dangerously low. <laughs> Do I have to change my deck so I just don't have Hexcatcher in it? That's actually a good point. I should evaluate the metagame and see, is this thing even worth it right now? Like it might not. Like it just might be better to just have a bunch of lords. Just other lore, like just play with a regular, like just take this out and play like Harbinger or something. Harbinger might be more useful than Hexcatcher. Hexcatcher is good versus exactly Cascade decks, and that's it. And I could probably shore up that matchup with something else. Well, this is big sad face past the turn. I was surprised Hexcatcher was in over Lord of Atlantis with Bowmasters running around. Uh, there are quite a few Bowmaster decks, but there's still a lot of Cascade decks. And also, the uh, this uh, has synergy with Flame of Anor, which was the most important. That was so weird. They did nothing. I guess I did nothing. Uh, well, that's technically a mistake. Should put Spar Bluff in play, because that definitely will come into play tapped. It 
It's a wizard. You're a wizard, hex catcher. Although I don't, at what cost? Okay, we're gonna activate, target this thing. Oh, not bull masters. Okay, that's fine. Oh no. Okay, I can't beat any of this. I'm just, ugh, okay, whatever. I got a subtlety. I'll attempt to double block something. to double block and I do want to double block so I will I just lose one creature well, our opponent basically has a lock on this game definitely want to try this list if for the novelty of is it merfolk but so far it feels like it still kind of gets the beat the same way if I were to change something I would probably just not play lightning bolt this card actually ended up being crap um, like it's it's it, it deals with like one third of an or orcish bowmasters. Um, I don't. It's hard to say. Hammer time is still popular, so like maybe bolt goes into the sideboard. Harbinger should be in the main. Look, look at this. All of our cards get undermined by this stupid card. I drew more lands. I right, concede. Even if we had Lorien revealed, it wouldn't help. All right. Well, that's. I have this is the greatest ass whipping I've had in a very long time. Okay, so uh, We're gonna drop from this event as well the double draw. I won one match today Do I have the best version of is it merfolk maybe not but hold I will say I learned something from these matches I did learn something. I think if I were to build the deck, maybe I, I'm gonna analyze the metagame really well Maybe I have like Dismember in the sideboard. I get rid of Hexcatcher. We put hold the Harbingers in the main. Like Hexcatcher may be just overall really weak. Like it's a nice card, don't get me wrong, but like it's it's really meh. Um I want I love Dismember for turn one Ragavan, but a lot of the Ragavan decks are gone. Uh except Scam. Uh not much I can do about that. I think this list is great if Bowmasters didn't exist. And that was another thing. Like, this card could be great value, but if you're up against Scam, like, it just gets it gets undermined anyway. I mean, unless I want to spend three mana to deal five damage to a creature. Otherwise, like, if I draw two cards, I still get screwed by Bowmasters. Like, the Bowmasters still hurts me. Hurts me in, at other angles. Man, that Bowmasters hits us. Hits Silvergill, hits the one toughness creatures, hits our Svelone. Damn. The army of Bowmaster. All right. Well, that with that, I have no idea where I'm going to go with this deck. Or if I'm going to still pursue the Is It uh, Merfolk. But that's going to be it for today. I'm going to thank everyone for supporting the channel. Thank you so much for watching me. And, um, yeah. Tune in next time. Take care. Bye-bye.